Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> Good evening. How we doing? We I'm back. so happy. What? I'm so happy you're here. Are you? I'm yeah. happy I'm here. You know too. why? Why? Because I need to show you this. I know show you've been that talking about me it. Onto. I'm it's excited. Plebs. I think you'd really like it. So we're starting. In, you're coming into season two. Okay. Is it like the first season of season two? Yeah. Or I you mean, mean the, first the first episode. First episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I mm -hmm. still have baby brain pretty bad. So. Yeah. But um. So, the main guy is Marcus, who is Johnny in Friday Night Dinner. Okay. <clears throat> then there's uh, Stylix, who... Stylix? Yeah. Okay. They all have Roman names. Yeah. yeah. Who uh, is really funny, and he's the one... He's like kind of like an in-betweeners character. He's always trying to get laid, no get matter some... what it is. Yeah. yeah. And then there's... No and then is. they have a slave named Grumio. <laughs> okay. But they don't treat him like a slave. He's just like... Kind of like their housemate. Where is he from? Is he Roman too? Yeah. Okay. But um, and he's 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 always got salve. He, he's got like a slack jaw type. Okay. Thing going on. Like our betta fish. Yeah, he looks yeah. like our betta fish. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got like a bowl cut. He's hilarious. I'm sometimes it's hard, like there's sometimes it's hard to understand what he says, just because he's he talks in. Like, like, Salve, what's going on? Sure. Like, like, it's just yeah. a weird voice. <coughs> Which I found out that because of you guys who've sent me funny stuff, that the actor who plays Grumio sounds nothing like that and doesn't oh, really? have that thing. Because I was wondering, like, is it, is, is he really like that? Or, like, yeah. is he just putting on, like, oh, an act? he's a good actor. Yeah. And then you see him in, like, an interview or something, and then he's, talks like a normal dude. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah. It's it's a hilarious show and um, I've been enjoying the hell out of it. But uh, while I was watching it, like I was like, this is the show that because right now you're currently only doing Friday night dinner reactions. Yeah. So I was like, this is the show that she would really like to watch of all the shows okay. that I'm watching. I'm excited. Yeah, because so. I forgot we finished Father Ted, so I was like, those yeah. are the only other ones I was doing was Friday night dinner. Yeah. So. Let's keep that baby in there. She in tomorrow. I don't actually know when you're gonna air this. But tomorrow, Monday, I'll be 27 weeks. Mm -hmm. So that means I kept her in for two more weeks since we've been to the hospital. Yes. So that's good. That's good. Every week they said Long, Every uh, week, it, it gets better yeah. and better, so. So we're doing good. <clears throat> All right. Well, without further ado, let's get into the reaction to Plebs. This is episode one from season two. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And hopefully enjoy the reaction. Okay, you I'm ready? Excited, yeah. Yes. All right, let's do it. Oh, he's starting off in the he's arena. To overtake him around the outside, but he can't get through. It's Scorpus in green, moving up to third place. Looks like too little, too late, though, for the reigning champion. Whatever happens now, you can say to your grandchildren, "Yes, I was there." What's going on now? There's a lot of sand, some cheering. There's a guy selling nuts. Not in the race. Tell me about the race. The running crowd's gone top place. Okay, quickly tell me about that. Some fat bloke. And back to the race. Stop squeezing my neck, Grumio. Oh, oh, here comes Red again. Shit, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have bet on green. No, you shouldn't have bet at all. It's 40 denarii down the drain. And you shouldn't gamble away our money without asking me. Hang on, 40? I thought you said four. No, I said 40. I just said the T very quietly. You told me that! Oh, <laughs> Red's out of it. He's smacked into a wall or something. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, that's nasty. It's covered in blood. Oh, it's a shame, but still, yes. Come on, Green. Blue and green, the neck and neck. Around the final bend. It's well tied. Get your hands off my face. And, and. Green. Oh, yeah. well, they won. Good for them. No, it's blue. You idiot. I told oh. you. I told you not to throw our money away. No. Oh, green. It is green. Go! Yes. I'm still really angry. Yes. 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 Oi, you free. Piss off, or buy a ticket like everyone else. Go piss off, thanks. I'm sorry for nothing, mate. I'm a made of packet, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know what you are, don't you? Okay, so... <laughs> right off the bat, judging from uh, the opening scene of this one... Yeah. They, it looks like they upped their budget. Okay. For the second season, so that's good. Okay. That's good. 
Because I was, I there was multiple times in the first season where I was like, you know, th- this show has so much potential. If they just up the budget a little bit, it would, the, they yeah. could show more like Roman stuff. Yeah, you know. It's funny that you say that because when I was a kid, I didn't like realize that that's why some shows were more like extreme than others was yeah. because they couldn't afford. <clears throat> well, yeah, you're a kid. You you don't think about yeah budgets for television or film. You know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Also, as you're going to find out, the music that they play yeah. is not like, you know, I guess whatever you would call Roman type music, but they play reggae music. Oh, really? As their, okay. yeah. Like, what this? is a pleb? Is it supposed to be something? A pleb? It's like the lowest uh, uh, form Economic of citi- citizenry okay. in the, uh, in the uh, Roman Empire or Roman Republic. Okay. Yeah. The chariot. So that's a cool one hundred for me and a cool one hundred for you. Cole, what do I got? Nothing, Grimio. You're my slave. Your money is my money. So is your money my money? No, that's still my money. Essentially everything's mine. Oh, come on, you stingy git. Give me some. I'm only gonna go and spaff it all on Cynthia. Uh no he won't. Mm. I might actually. There's this swanky new Hispanian restaurant just opened that I quite want to take you to. You say? Yeah. You've got to let her go, bro. You're getting nowhere fast. Or I'm getting somewhere slow. You've not gruffled anybody since we got to Rome. You're denying other ladies the chance to get busy with you. Mm, I think they're fine with that. Hey, none of that. We have got a hundred denarii each. This is our chance to start again, to become the big men of Rome. Meaning? Well, I'm going to reinvent myself as a charioteer. Oh, wicked. Yeah. Girls will wet themselves for those guys. In a good way. I think chariots cost a bit more than a hundred denarii, mate. Who said anything about getting a chariot? I can't even drive. How's that going to work? Oh, yeah, I hear it. Salve, ladies. Stylax, chariot here. Even the backgrounds are... are have, that's a... The backgrounds are much bigger now. I like the reggae music. It. Isn't it? Kind of Isn't funny. it cool? Yeah. I like it a lot. Every time I don't I'm... know if it fits, but it makes me wanna. It's definitely have a margarita. On the, it's definitely different, on but coast. it's definitely different. But I've from the beginning, I'm like, oh, reggae music in Rome. I like it. Yeah, I like it's, it too. Uh, yeah. Hey, Matella. Have a nice weekend. You want Cynthia, right? Well, I was trying to make conversation with you first. Why? Because it's neighbourly. But are you actually interested in my life at all? Well, no, but... So just say what you want rather than waste my time asking inane questions. OK, fine. I'd like to see Cynthia. There we are. That's better, isn't it? Cynthia? Yeah? It's Marcus. Should I tell him you're out? <laughs> oh! Um... I can't hear all this, by the way. Oh, uh, no, then. Hey, Marcus. I was, I was laughing because she was like, Cynthia, and she went, yeah! <laughs> Cynthia, oh yeah! Yeah! Uh, the, this yeah. is his his next door neighbor, Marcus's next door mm-hmm. neighbor, and he's been Has trying to... Has a crush to, on her? Yeah, he's been okay. trying to get with her the, the entirety of the first season. Oh, okay. And it never happened. Oh, well, he has a hundred... But the girl on the right... Is her slave in the orange? Yeah. Okay. But in that fun, like they have slaves, but they don't. The slaves have like bigger mouths than the, their do. owners. Yeah. yeah. So like you know, Grumio like sometimes. Well, they're the slaves to plebs, so they're probably like <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> but this one in particular, she's like she just uh, sassy, sassy, and rips everybody a new one. She's also, uh, she was Jay's girlfriend in The Inbetweeners. In The oh, Inbetweeners, yeah, the was. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? I thought she looked familiar. Hey, so I've managed to bag a table tomorrow night to this new Hispanian restaurant if you wanted to join me. They do patatas bravas. Oh, that's really sweet, but I better not. I've got an audition coming up for the part of a sylph. Right, what's a sylph? Like a cross between a nymph and a sprite. So? Thin, basically. I'm only eating cress at the moment. Certainly can't have potatoes. Potatoes. Well, I can't have those either. Sorry. Okay. Good luck with the audition. Oh. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. I just forgot how to. You forgot how to drink tea, did yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Yorkshire tea, I fucking love it. That this I is know, def- so this is the best thing that they've gotten us on to. It is. It's so Fuck good. Fuck all the reactions. This I is the best could, thing that you I guys have, have gotten like us on. Six cups a day. He has like five Just six cups a five day. Five or six cups a day, yep. Yeah. I'm addicted. You alright, darling? Yep. You making a jump higher? <laughs> no. Just uh problem neighbors. Well, uh, thanks for the warning. I'm Marcus. I live in that one. Well, I'm Amanda and I live in this one. His name's Marcus. Yeah. You're not free at all tomorrow night, are you, Amanda? I'm so proud of you, man! I didn't deceive her or waste months pretending to be her friend. I just asked her out, straight up. And she just said yes. Indeed she did. So what's wrong with her, then? Nothing, <laughs> Junior. This guy's a hunk. She's going because she fancies him. Ah, oh, because she fancies a big steak supper. Well, no, actually, because it's not that kind of food. It's all small dishes designed for sharing. Well, you'll struggle with that, then, you stingy. <laughs> see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he looks like our beta fish. That's all I see There's now. There's something wrong with her, then. <laughs> it's like, yeah, his jaw, it, it, it fucking, I love this guy. Bastard. Oh, my job. Here you go, then, Grumio. Don't say I never give you anything. One denny. Thanks a bloody bunch. <laughs> what was that stuff? You, um, you don't even own a chariot. Well, not yet. And yet you bought leathers, cuffs, a cape, a helmet. Don't help him. What, in case you crash your imaginary chariot into an imaginary wall? Look, mate, all I know is that women love men who live on the edge, who laugh in the face of death. Yeah, I know, mate, hence why they love me. <laughs> <laughs> what? You laugh in the face of death, do you, Aurelius? Well, I once had sex in a graveyard, so... Wow. Yes, thank you, oh. I know. And did you put the corpse back afterwards? What? No. Did you just leave it there? It wasn't with the corpse. Were you laughing in its face? It was with a living woman. Well, she started off that way. No, the whole time. Is she still warm? I would never have a corpse. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think I'll be cremated. All the same, water boy, just to be safe. Yes, good idea, water man. Shredder, have you got yourself a chariot? So the, this is where they work. And oh, she's, okay. she's their boss, and he's the water guy uh, or something like that the water guy or the cup bearer or he brings he just people's water he just fills water the whole time what do these two do uh just file stuff i guess oh, okay i can't i can't remember exactly what i was they like know. shred paper but they basically file papers for it and stuff of course he has what kind of forward by all the chariot kit without having a chariot yeah. i must say i do like young men in leather and in general oh Thank you very much. My husband collects chariots. I tell him he's compensating for shortcomings elsewhere. Is that what you're doing? No, no, no shortcomings here. Long comings, if anything. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I've left my lunchbox at home. Be a love and whiz back and get it for me. Go to your house. You won't take long in a chariot. 30 minute round trip. Might need a bit longer. Nonsense. Crack the whip. You do have a whip, don't you? No, so maybe I shouldn't go. No, 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 no. You can borrow one of mine. <laughs> Follow me. Don't forget your helmet, mate. Safety first. <laughs> Good job. That's a wild outfit. She looks like Thor. She does look like Thor. Roman, Roman Thor. Without the muscles. Alright, I'm loud. What's with the bling? Oh, well, you know. Business is booming, so I thought I'd treat myself. Look at this big fucking well, guy. The big man. I thought I'd treat myself to him too. I'm accessorising. His name's Davis. You what, fella? In fact, take the weight off a sec, will you, Davis? Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> now, how can I get rich, then? Well, in my experience, the easiest way to make money is to have loads already. Right. And other ways. Could work really hard. And the other ways. Well, you could try something like Amanda over there. Oh. What's her story, then? Well, it works from home. World's oldest profession. But she's busy then, is she? Oh, yeah. A lot of happy customers. You know what the world's old oldest profession is, right? Prostitution. Yes. And do you know who it was ran by? In America, at least? No. The West women. They ran and operated their own brothels. And made Most a lot of the of time. Money. Yeah. Most of the During time, the I think. During the gold rush, it was like a really big thing. Oh, yeah. But, like, women ran it. Most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. 
I'm sure there were some guys that were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this operation. But for the most part, it was women. Going in and out. Uh, <laughs> you know uh, what I mean? Oh, hey. I'll do. I'll leave. Yeah, everybody was very itchy. Very yes. itchy. <laughs> it's a Roman name for a girl. Hello. It sounds like a combination yes. of a girl's name and a lesbian. What do you want? Oh, hey. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'd want to name my Fallopian. Put the the good old fallopian tube. Yeah. That's I don't know. Ever since I was a kid, that fallopian tube made me laugh. <laughs> Did it? Oh my god! Yeah. No right. disrespect to anybody or women's part. It's just that word fallopian. It just made me giggle. It reminds me of a. Uh, I don't know what grade you had health class, but we had it like in sex. Like, ed, ed sex class. Ed, yeah. uh, for me, it was like fifth grade. We had it in sex. Yeah. And I remember it was so funny. Because they'd be like, here's the vagina. And all the boys would, like, giggle. Yeah. And they would say, like, fallopian tube. That would make me giggle. Yeah. That definitely would. Hello? Hello? What do you want? Oh, hey. Oh, okay. Huh? Um, my name's Stylax. I work with Flavia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Uh, I'm here to pick up her lunchbox. Oh, it's there. It's there. Is that it? Uh, maybe could I have a glass of water? No. No. No! <laughs> F off, then. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just go. Yeah. He's definitely doing the day. You don't know that. He was with a woman who was butt naked and boobs naked. Everything naked. But naked and boobs naked. Which tunic do you think? That one. I caught him with his dick in the cookie jar, and you know what that means? His dick's got crumbs on it. And therefore. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I think so. You okay? I just like the way he said it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he meant, no, it, like off. some of the things he says, it's not even like hilarious, but the way he says it, yeah. makes, it makes it five times funny. He says everything so like. Yeah. It's a statement. Yeah. <laughs> I know what they said before. All right. Don't eat his cookies. We threatened to tell Flake one. I caught him with his dick in the cookie jar, and you know what that means? His dick's got crumbs on it. And therefore? Don't eat his cookies. We <laughs> threatened to tell Flavia. No way. We're not blackmailing him. I just want some hush money. Or a chariot. I want a hush chariot. Yeah, can't be in. It's got so little to do with you, Grumio. Or any of us. Right. How do I look? You're an absolute dreamboat, mate. If I were a girl, I'd ruin you. Yeah, that's a bit weird, but thanks. Now remember, you are a big man of Rome. So splash the cash, spread the love, and show the girl a good time. <gasps> So, so bad. I wonder how this is going to go. I think this is the first time he's been on a date with wow. a, a woman oh, on the show. Nice. I want to go eat there. Yes, well, order anything else you want. It's all on me. So, have you got a good job then, Marcus? Uh, sort of. I work for Rome's third largest grain supply company. Oh, wow. I bet you like grain then. Hmm. I don't actually work with the grain myself. I'm a copier. Try the patatas. I do know a thing or two about grain. I grew up on a farm. Oh, wow. Mm. Do you know I love farms? Like all the little ducks and everything. Mm. I bet that was brilliant. Yeah, it had its moments. Oh, yeah. What sort of moments? Uh, let's think. Um, one time, I was in the chicken coop and I found a square egg. Square? Mm -hmm. Really? Well, that's dead odd, isn't it? Because eggs are usually sort of round. Egg-shaped, yeah, I know. But this was more... I mean, it wasn't a perfect square. Mm. Still an egg. But put it this way. It's on my parents' mantelpiece, and it's not rolling anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Have some more wine. Okay. Did they use forks back then? That's a good question. Because I know... I want to say no, but I don't know. 
I know that like Viking people did not use forks for a very long time, but mm-hmm. we did kind of invent the sandwich. I thought no, that they will dispute that with you. The sandwich was invented by Lord Sandwich. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, we made... I just know that we would take... They ate with their hands a lot. But they would take meat and a bunch of stuff and just, like, shove it in a piece of bread. Well, you and know... eat it like that. I'm sure that they... I have no doubt that they did stuff like that. Yeah. But the sandwich is patented by Mr. Lord Sandwich himself. Who hails from the UK? They who probably, hailed from the UK. They didn't. They're sure, they didn't call it a sandwich. They probably called it pig stuffed in bread. But like, I think Lord Sandwich was from the UK, right? Lord Am I right sandwich. about that? Lord Sandwich was from the UK. I, w- I would. I would have said he was English, but I'm not quite sure he could. You know, there's different. He's. he's I don't know. I'm gonna look up after know. this. But I know he's from the UK. At least I'm like 98% sure. Yeah. But I, I need somebody to filter out my bullshit so I can get <laughs> these things right. Because every time I, I'm like, I, there's so many times in reaction videos where like, damn, I fucking used to know this. Mm-hmm. But, uh, ne- and there's like just now, I'm like, oh, I know this. Well, actually, I'm pretty sure I know this, but I'm yeah. not 100% confident. And it's hilarious when I get them wrong, which is a lot. But uh, you guys let me know yeah, about I Lord like Sandwich. Little, I like their little forks. It only has like, it's like a little snake tongue. Yeah. It only has like two little pokers. But in terms of forks in Rome, I'm not sure. I want to say no. I'm trying to remember if we saw silverware when we were in Greece. Like in the museums. Oh. Uh, well, no, we didn't. No? No. Ow. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of balls. Waiter. Yeah. And a lot of wine stuff. Mantle, and it's not rolling anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Have some more wine. Okay. Mm. Oh, don't worry about it. No, no. Waiter. One more bottle of wine, please. Yes, sir. Chas again? Um, no, actually. I think this time we'll go one up from house. Oh, she like him. <laughs> Salve, ladies. Stylax, chariot. Of course, Stylax. Tell, can't they? Tell what? I'm not a real charioteer, I'm just a twat in a uniform. Mm. Hey, hang on. Was his name Stylax? Yeah. I wish we had more money. <laughs> well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> What a Muppet. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> okay! You didn't tell me this is not It's the first time I've actually seen uh, fucking shit in, in this show. Fucking shit. There, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, talking about fucking. Yeah. A lot of situations where people are going to go into a, another room and start oh fucking. Oh god. He, but I've he, never actually seen it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> just, that that image is not gonna leave my head for a while. Cause oh. it looked like he was he had he was suffering from diabetes and her fucking snatch had insulin in it. No, it looked like <laughs> there was no looking, it looked like just his head was just going straight <laughs> up and down. Yeah, like he was woodpecking his way through there. I don't know. <gasps> Keep going. Up to you, babes. Do whatever you want. I'll keep going. Oh, oh my God. God. I'll be five minutes, yeah? Okay, no worries. I'm sorry, babes. It's a five-minute warning. Why? Who is that? It's my next client. It's just a bit early. Client? Oh, yeah, yeah, Five yeah. Days. Sorry, Amanda. Are you... A... Not being rude, but are you... A... Uh, yeah. How long were you doing? <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. An hour? An hour? I can't believe I was so stupid. She laughed at my jokes. She even liked the square egg story. That's basically a prostitute test. I like that story. This is all your fault, you realise. Well, how do you work that out? I was trying to spread the love. Show her a good time. 
And look where that got me. A hundred denarii bill and lockjaw. I mean, for that sort of money, you really should have helped her. Oh I just God. warmed her up for the next guy. Or guys, I probably wasn't even her first of the day. No, you weren't. How do you know? Because I saw her with a fat bloke. Oh, right. And why didn't you tell me? Landlord said she did the oldest job in the world. That's a prostitute. Yeah, famously a prostitute. Oh. Actually, I didn't catch that. The, I didn't the catch big that guy either. was with her. Yeah. Um, that time, because I, I guess we didn't see her face, I don't know. I genuinely thought you were into me. I'm going to check your dick for lice. Yeah, in hindsight, that was a... <laughs> I feel like that's a good thing to check for. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, my God! A bit odd. Even so, the fact is, you got taken to a fancy what restaurant... What the fuck? Where you two dessert. Yeah? I genuinely thought you were into me. I'm going to check your dick for lice. Yeah, in hindsight, that was a bit odd. Even so, the fact is, you got taken to a fancy restaurant where you ate two desserts and then received oral attention. For an hour. Yeah, prox. If anything, you should be paying him. That won't be necessary, but maybe we could call it quits. What you choose to do with our time is entirely up to you. You didn't find it weird that I chose to do that? For an hour? He's got lockjaw, for Joe's sake. OK, mate, could we at least arrange a discount? I'll give you a 20% discount only because you're a dopey twat. Thank you, that's kind of you. But I will need it for today. Fine, that'll be fine. Uh, right, well, if you'll excuse me, I need my beauty sleep. I am chock a block later. Yeah. Sorry, um, have you got a menu I could take away? Is it called a menu? Oh my <laughs> god. Yes, that looks doesn't give a fuck. So, what are we going to say to him? Let's just say, game's up, sucker. We know you're doing a dirty. We're not calling him sucker. We need something bold to set the tone, show him we mean business. Now, people who mean business don't say sucker. How about nonce? Look at him, okay. nonce. Doesn't nonce mean paedophile? So, mush. Shut your mush, you fucking mush. Forget about that. What are our demands going to be? Well, I need 80 denarii. Let's round that up to a cool grand. That's more than rounding up. Plus a chariot. Of course. And a horse. Oh, good thinking. Some feed for the horse. Uh, yep. Some feed for me. Why do you need feed? For some hunger. Some feed for G-man. Or food, as you tend to call it. So, a cool grand, a chariot, a horse, some feed and some food. OK. Whew. Let's do this. Shut your fucking mush, you bozo <laughs> bitch sucker. <laughs> yeah. He's like quivering the whole time. That's what got me. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Let's do this. Shut your fucking mush, you bozo bitch sucker. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> so I was here yesterday for the lunchbox. I know. And? And when I was here, I saw something. Mm -hmm. Something big. Bad. Get to the point, maybe. Your dick's got crumbs on it. What? I saw her. The naked lady frolicking <laughs> about. I saw her. Ah, oh, right. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. And you thought you'd come back with your two heavies, did you, to blackmail me? Yeah. And if you don't want us to tell Flavia, you better meet our demand. Flavia, darling, love of my life, come down here for a moment, will you please? There's some idiots at the door. When do we get to do our demands? I'm not sure we do. Ah, yes, these are my idiots. And my idiot's idiot. It's all getting very exciting down here, darling. They're trying to blackmail me. Ah, no, he said blackmail. I didn't say that. They're threatening to tell you about the naked lady that was here yesterday. Oh, <laughs> bless. Do you want to handle this? I shall go and get my big sword. No, no, no. Leave it with me, Cornelius, my love. My light of my world. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Forgive my husband for being brusque, boys. He's just a very talented artist and therefore a very rude person. And currently he's working on a sculpture of the birth of Venus. The nude was his model. <clears throat> oh, right. You sure? Well, I hardly think Venus would be clothed at birth now, would she? I mean, were you born clothed? No. no. Can't remember. I'm sorry, we needed money. <laughs> I see. Well, since you're here, Shredder, why don't you show for me into town? I'll give you ten denarii. Ah, well, I don't actually own a chariot, turns out. Just got a uniform. Well, do please come again soon. Can we carry you for ten denarii? Mm. Or five? We're desperate. If there's anything we can do. Well, maybe... Rob a bank. <laughs> you guys oh. better come up with that money. I've got an idea. Is it robbing a bank? Not quite. Oh. Well, stuck in. well, I think this is illegal. Nobody owns this money. They've literally thrown it away. So they'd have their wishes granted. It works, doesn't it? Last night I wished we had more money, and today we don't. It's a miracle. Praise the God. Oh, dear. Five denarii. Oh, a nice one. 
Next time I'm bringing a bucket. Are we big men now? Because I don't feel like a big man. Do you know anybody that's ever done that, taking money out of yeah. a wishing well? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of kids in, like, middle school, I don't know, like, fifth grade would do it. Yeah, it's all, like, kids doing it. Yeah. Never seen adults doing it. No, because kids, like, you get a handful that's five bucks, you can go get some ice cream or something. Yeah. Like, I would imagine, you know what I, I just started to think of? Like, I used to see wishing wells all the time. Uh, now, not so much. Really? Yeah. If you go over to the fountains in around where we work, there's money in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but I remember there That's used a big-ass fountain, though. There used to be, like, a lot of wishing wells. Yeah, when I was a kid, it seemed like every place had a fucking wishing well. Yeah. Um, now, I, like, never see them. But that's, like, the one you're talking about. That's, like, a big thing in the center of town. Uh-huh. It's not like you walk into like a store or something and they have a little small wishing well there. Yeah. I used to see those like everywhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's a Maryland thing. I don't know. Ours aren't even wishing wells. They're just fountains and people are like, I'm going to throw a quarter in there. Yeah. Anyway, just got me curious. Did you just splash me? Sorry. Fountains make me want to do splashy, splashy. What? Nothing. I don't talk Man. like that. Did you just splash me? Sorry. Fountains make me want to do splashy, splashy. Do not splash yeah. him back. I order you. He's gonna go splashy, splashy, then start a match. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh, you're only gonna splashy, splashy me. No, seriously. Oi! Shit, maybe it is illegal. Stay where you are. Oi! Oh, they're dropping all their money. She's not hurting anyone, unless they pay her to. What if one of your dirty clients accidentally knocks on my door in the night? Take him in, darling. You could do well. Thank you very much, but that's not really the point. Especially if you remove that pole from your ass. Right, Ooh. that is it. Landlord, you have to get rid of her. I'm not alone here. I've started a petition amongst the other tenants. You what? I've already got several supporters. Marcus, you'll back me up. I was just going to get change. This is important. It's when we go out. The following tenants demand the eviction of the hall from flat six. Did you sign it? Did I? I can't remember. Marcus Gallo, yep, you did, yeah. Well, you can bloody forget the discount now, then. Discount? What discount? Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, there was a no. mistake. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you're good It's like, thing. you know, the thing is, some of these things, like these plot points of the show where at the very end you know it's going to come back to bite these characters yeah. in the ass and it's still hilarious yeah understanding I want the full hundred now you paid for sex no he hasn't paid yet I didn't actually have sex with her also what did you do then <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter um I'm sorry he's a bit wet you're paying me in dump change are you serious still legal tender uh 8, 10, 17, 20, 24. I'm a bit short. Could I owe you? No, you couldn't. Right. Um, Cynthia, any chance I could borrow some... What? You want me to fund your prostitute habit? It's not a habit. It was a one-off and a mistake. I thought it might be pleasure rather than business. You thought someone would go out with you for pleasure? All right, don't you start. How much? 76 denarii. I'm really sorry. This is not what Nana's inheritance is for. 
Here's 80. You can keep the change. Well, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, that was nice of Thank it. you. Yeah. I'll pay you back. And tonight, are we still on for dinner? You expect me to pay your prostitute bills and then buy you dinner? Well, ideally. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe that she paid it. Legend. Le <laughs> what did he say? Legend? <laughs> he said legend, yeah. Like, you're a legend, mate. That is a legendary oh, thing. Oh, I'd be telling that story oh, for ages. I don't need a chariot. No, need it. What? Well, not do it, but if somebody I knew did it. I would not pay for your prostitute, just so you know. You I really, I own. really hope you would. <laughs> you figure that out on your own. I really hope you would. Walking, I like walking. You're good at walking. Yeah, plus there's running costs, the parking. One way system's a nightmare. Oh, they are as sexy as hell, though. Mm, you're not wrong. This one's just like the one outside Flay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, got you now, you dirty little punk ass pussy sucker! Bloody nun! Oh shit! Yeah! Yay! Come on! Take the next left! Oh, oh yay, they got a horse and a chair! Where are we going then? Start of up to the arse! Salve, lady! Stylex, Charioteer, Marcus, big man of Rome. <laughs> We've arrived, baby. The big men have arrived. Uh. Hey, nice happy ending at the Yay. end. Okay, darling. What'd you think? I like it. Yeah? Yeah, it's funny. And actually, other than the whole prostitute angle thing. Yeah. Um... It actually seemed kind of light on the, uh, on some of the comedy in this one compared to some of the episodes from season one. Really? Well, it was the yeah. first season, so I think they're, or I mean, the first episode of the season. Right. But, so they're uh, trying to, like, paint a not, picture. And I'm not even saying it was a bad episode. I really no, I liked, liked it. I liked the episode I liked a lot. I the characters, too. Yeah. And see, it's different. Yeah. Set in Rome. Yeah. Everybody's, uh, talking with English accents, though, and, um... And we have reggae music. <laughs> On top of that, you got reggae music. Yeah. yeah. No, I like it a lot. And it's just you know ancient Rome in a you. comedy setting. It's yeah. it's re it's really fun show. I like it a lot. Um. Anything else you want to say about it? Who's your favorite? Who was your favorite out of characters so far? Um, I actually really like Marcus, and then I like his little guy, Grumio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I don't know. I'm like each as each episode goes on, like. Uh, Stylix grows on me more and more. Yeah, Stylix is really, really funny. But that's that. That was mild Stylix in this. Stylix, okay, I was gonna say, Stylix has done mild. some wild shit. Yeah, and made some really, really fucked up decisions. Okay, in that season probably one. Show that so, more as it goes on. Yeah, but no, I like it, and yeah, I like like. You know, everything's set in like this time and day and age. It's fun to when stuff goes. Yeah, back. it's different. And it's, like, that director or writer's, like, interpretation. And I feel like with stuff like that, you can make it so funny. Yeah. So I really yeah. like it. And you know me. I'm a sucker for anything, like, ro set in ancient Rome or Greece. Yeah. So I'm loving it. So I, I liked him a lot. <clears throat> yeah, Grumio's, Grumio is the bee's knees. But I'm no, going to throw a boomer cute. term out there. He's the bee's knees, folks. Love Grumio. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you thank liked you the reaction. Guys. And remember to like, subscribe, and do whatever you guys want, okay? And so, it's you ready to, be to back. do in the future? Are you ready to do more plebs episodes? Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. And See? It is like I know nice you so well. I was like, this is going to be. You do. Good this job. is going to be a show you really like. So, thank you guys for putting us on to this show, all right? We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace out, everybody.